Hi grade one, here we have another life cycle, okay, but this one is a life cycle of the platypus. And remember last week we talked about life cycles being the different stages that a living thing goes through in its lifetime. So as you can see in the pictures on this life cycle, the platypus starts off in an egg and then the egg hatches. And you then have a baby platypus and then in stage three we have a young platypus and then the platypus becomes an adult and then eventually it will lay its own eggs and the life cycle will start again. Stage one of the platypus life cycle. The female will lay between one to three eggs in a burrow that is hidden in the side of a riverbank. Stage two. After about 10 days, the young hatch from the eggs. Now that the platypus has hatched from the eggs, we will move to stage three of the life cycle. So in stage three, the young platypus drinks milk from glands under the skin of its mother's belly for about three or four months. They live in the burrow for about six months. Stage four. When the platypus leaves the nest, it is an adult. The adult platypus finds a mate and reproduces in late winter or spring. Reproducing is an important part of the life cycle and something that all living things do. And this is so that the life cycle can continue over again. So once the platypus reproduces, it will then lay eggs. The female platypus will then lay its eggs and then our life cycle will start all over again. Now we have a bit of a fun fact about the platypus. So did you know that there is a group of mammals called monotremes? The only existing monotremes are the platypus and the echidna. They live in Australia and New Guinea.